Ooh, what's up guys, this is Minecraft for Meh, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft for Meh, the survival series on my channel. And yeah, today we're going to do a little bit of caving, and uh, honestly there's not going to be too much editing for this episode, since as when you guys are seeing this, I am away at my camp, so I don't actually have time to make a full episode the way I intend to in the future. Uh, but yeah, I get back on the following Saturday, so... Uh, yeah, for those watching it when the video came out, next Saturday I'll be back and uh, videos will resume normal quality and all that type of stuff. Uh, so yeah, today we're just going to do caving, do a little bit of a Q&A. And I hope this episode is long, but it might not be. It really depends because I really have to get these videos recorded if I want anything uh, to go out while I'm away. So yeah, we basically got to go get a cave. I think I'm going to head off in this direction this time though. And I'm sure we can find a cave relatively soon. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, but we do have lots of coal, so that's definitely a good thing. And uh, food might be a bit of a problem. So I think we should just tear down some more of those uh, mushroom trees that we have in the past. Uh, maybe that one and that one. And uh, then we'll have enough food to last. So hope you guys are all having a great summer. I know I am. And it's surprisingly only been a week. And I almost got daily uploads out that first week. Or, uh, but except for uh, the Friday that this was going to come out, but that's actually when I'm recording this because, uh, yeah, just, you know, packing and things takes up a lot of time, so I unfortunately couldn't uh, do daily uploads, but I wanted to at least get some videos out while I'm gone. I just don't want to go from, like, daily uploads to having, like, one a week. Uh, but I do hope you guys are all enjoying the Ultra Hardcore, though. That'll definitely... Uh, be kind of filling in for lots of the videos that I would be making over this break, so it's kind of good that it's uh, when it is. So, hope you guys enjoy. Team Shake and Bake for the win. If you haven't checked it out, you can. It's on my channel. So, uh, yeah, let's hope for a good season on that, and I'm gonna get all these things uh, cut down, and we'll go right to a Q&A once I find a cave. It's a bit hard to uh, get around the terrain, but uh, yeah, there's definitely some awesome looking structures like this. And uh, this one, but none of them are actually low enough to the ground that I would see any surface caves, I don't think. Uh, most of these are just overhangs, and that means they don't really have any ores in them, so that's kind of annoying. But yeah, we gotta, gotta really, like, surpass all these epic structures. Even though they're awesome, we definitely need to actually get to the ores, so... Uh, yeah, I think maybe over this, like, I see a little bit of a cave there, but that's definitely, like, a mountain cave, not a real one. Okay, there's a swamp. Uh, those could have caves in them, but it looks like this might be a little bit more of a promise going over to this biome. So, yeah, how do we get there without dying? That's the real question. And, uh, yeah, my, wow, my nose feels really stuffed up right now. That is really annoying, but um, I'm going to go find that cave now. I just thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about the awesome terrain, but, it's, you know, it's a little annoying sometimes. So, see you guys when we get to the cave. Alright, our first uh, promise here. This looks like it might be a pretty good cave. Alright, already a good start. Ooh, that's the type of ambient noise I want to hear. That definitely means we're in a pretty decent cave. Awesome! So, I guess we'll get to the Q&A. Let's not use all this coal. That would be a waste. Alrighty. Great, this is a really nice... Oh my goodness, there's lots of mobs though. But other than that, this is a great cave so far. I, I think it's one of those ones that goes down to diamond level and things, so... Let's lower my sound here, because I'm hearing this pretty loud. There we go, that's a lot better. Uh, yeah, the first... I'm just gonna kinda go in a random order, and I'm sorry if I don't say the name of the person who sent the question. Uh, I just don't have time, like, if in the future I'd probably want to... Wow, all these creepers are blowing up. <laughs> but yeah, in the future I'd want to, like, put the comment on screen and things, because that would be... A little bit better so yeah on to the first question okay first question is uh, what aspect of Minecraft uh, do you like the most such as redstoning building things like that and I like I kind of iffy on this answer but I usually like redstone a lot more than uh, building I, that's just because I'm not too good at building yet and uh, I've never really been that good at building oh my goodness there's a witch and everything in here this is going to make it a little bit difficult. Um, but yeah, I definitely like redstoning. And uh, I have built lots of redstone things in the past. It's really fun to do. So yeah, that's definitely what I enjoy the most in Minecraft. So yeah, uh, another question. This is just kind of a... Oh my gosh, that is a lot of mushroom stew. 
Uh, that's the one annoying thing about it is it doesn't stack. But um, yeah, next question is uh, what recording and editing software do you use? And I've answered this a lot in the past, but uh, just for an updated answer, I use uh, Movie Studio or Sony Movie Studio for editing, and I switch back to using DX Tori. Uh, ra er, yeah, DX Tori. And I was using Bandicam for a little bit, but I got the lossless Kodak working with uh, DX Tori, so now I can actually record like everything I needed to. So, yeah, that is basically the current status on the videos. And I'd say it looks pretty good. It's not the best yet, but we definitely have some areas I can improve on. And uh, speaking of that, YouTube just announced they're going to be supporting 60 frames per second video. And that basically means... Let's see if we can get a record out of this. Please. Shoot. Oh, man. I killed the creeper. I'm upset. But, um... Yeah, YouTube announced 60 frames per second support. And if you guys don't know what that means, in the future I'll have twice as smooth videos. So it'll take up a bit more bandwidth on your side, but... It'll be a lot smoother of a video. I can't wait for that. I can't wait for some other YouTubers to start using 60 frames per second. It'll just look a lot better. So I'm really glad that YouTube did that, though. It really is a good uh, thing for them to finally add. And I've seen they've added, like, an, announced a lot of features. And wow, that is the worst possible thing I could get from a witch. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Gosh, that dang witch. Uh, yeah, so... Anyway, let's see. Um... Someone asked about like a fan server type thing. Also, let me kind of block off here. I don't want to like die from like a zombie coming in or something. Uh, so yeah, someone asked about a fan server because uh, they said they saw one in the past on Mushroom Stew. And I think I definitely want to have one, but the issue is I don't have enough time to actually manage one. And last time I did, there was only like 10 people on it. But you know, there were definitely 10 very... Uh, dedicated and motivated people who are on the server who liked my stuff but it's just not enough to actually keep a live server going for a while and uh if i did make a server i'd want to be able to pay for it without getting any sponsorships because those are really annoying so uh, i did used to do those in the past but now i'm just thinking we should uh if we're gonna make a server we should definitely do it right and pay for it and uh all that stuff so yeah that's my thought on that uh, comment and um, yeah someone asked what the specs of my PC are I'll probably have to post these on my channel description but uh, I don't actually know them off the top of my head so yeah I have to get that for you guys and you can probably find that in the channel description pretty soon I'll update it with all that stuff uh, so yeah now I'm just gonna scroll down I have to pause the recording I'll get a question and be right back all right we're back and uh, this question is uh, what do you suggest for a low-cost setup? And, uh, I can't really speak to this too good. I'm not a really good PC person. Uh, but definitely the mic I started off with was the Blue Snowball, and it was pretty, pretty awesome. But I'd actually probably recommend the AT2020 for a starting microphone, at least. And, uh, yeah, just have a computer that can run Minecraft at 30 FPS at least while recording, and you're all set. But, uh, I'm sure there's other people who have made videos on that that could help you out more and wow why is this witch not targeting me at all that was great okay so uh next question is a bit a little bit more channel oriented it is do you have any other series in mind and they said also your videos are awesome so thank you for that i really appreciate the support um but yeah any other series in mind definitely i have some things i might want to start up in the future they're kind of mini series though because they have a f an ending and they don't really go on forever like Attack of the B-Team and uh, Vanilla could go on forever. There's no really ending point to them. Uh, but there might be some other adventure maps or something I do where they have a limited amount of time. Or a finite amount of time. And um, yeah, something else. Well, I'm working on lots of redstone things like in my free time in a creative world. So I might eventually do like a mini game making series or something. Uh, but yes, I have not forgotten about the adventure map, or not the adventure map, I mean the survival map. I have not actually made an adventure map in a while. But yeah, I have, I have not forgot about that, it's still gonna happen probably. Uh, to be honest, it's been a really long time since we've worked on it, so... And I think I had my Windows 7 back then and things, so I'm gonna have to actually find that file again, but... Yeah, we should definitely get to work on that, uh, survival games map and finish it. 
So yeah, that might happen in the next week after I uh, get back from camp, but possibly not, uh, just because it takes a little while and I'm not the best at building. If anything, I'd rather do a series on like redstone or something I know a little bit more about. Because uh, I can do redstone pretty much anything, I just can't compact it at all. But with building, I'm just not that good at it. So, I mean, I'll probably get some building help in the future and try to fix my building skills. But yeah, that'll definitely involve having a guest. And uh, on that note, I actually recorded an episode with, um, oh shoot, I can't forget, uh, I can't remember his name. But I filmed an episode with a friend of Bloodzell's, and, um, shoot, I, it's really annoying. I haven't talked to him in so long that I forgot his name, but, um, yeah, that's kind of a lost episode. I think it's out on his channel, but I never got to release it because, uh, you know, it's been a long time, so I think I kind of forgot about that episode, but, yeah, so there ha was a building episode, and if I can find it, I'll upload it one of these days, but I might not be able to find it, so, yes, there was an episode that had some actual building going on, but uh, we never got to release it. So, next thing is, uh, what are your plans for the future of this series? And uh, your channel, just in general. Uh, some things about my channel I want to add, I want to definitely kind of redo the design of it a bit, or at least get an intro, because I feel like having an intro is definitely a symbolic thing to have on a YouTube channel that has Minecraft videos. So I'm going to definitely try to get an intro from someone. If you have any ideas of who I can get an intro from, let me know in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. So yeah, intro probably. And this series, I'm just going to keep playing. And uh, definitely towards the later episodes, it'll get more project oriented rather than survival oriented. Like, all right, today we're going to make an automated chicken farm or something like that. And then that's kind of what the series will go on. And uh, I'll clarify what I mean by having guests. Uh, that means, like, every once in a while, let's say I invite, uh, I don't know, Sam Gladiator or something on the world. Uh, he'll have to borrow some of the stuff I'll have, like I'll have extra equipment that I make. And there's no creative mode ever happening, and maybe they could just help me cave or something, and then they log off and uh, maybe keep the stuff I gave them, and if they ever return, they'll have their stuff still. But no really base building or anything like that. Uh, going on because this is a single player world at heart so I want to honor that and not just turn it into like a survival multiplayer server thing uh, but yeah that uh, survival multiplayer might happen soon so I still have really no idea when that happens it'll kind of just pop up and then one day I'll be like hey guys I'm on a survival multiplayer server so I hope that'll happen sometime soon but uh, it's not time sensitive so it's not like uh, yeah, so anyway, that's all I have to say about that. I don't really know how that stuff is working. So, uh, yep, someone asked if I want to join their SMP. And unfortunately, I have a limited list of SMPs I'd like to join. And uh, I'm not just going to join any new starting SMPs. I want it to be uh, secure because I don't want to have to be like, sorry guys, this is a two episode series and it ended. So. That's why I'm just looking really hard for a good SMP that won't close down because I want to have a secure series for a long time on my channel, not just one that lasts a few episodes and then ends. Uh, so that's my plan with that. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go look for more questions. See you in a minute. Those are all the questions I got in the comments, but uh, definitely if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments of this video. And uh, maybe in a future episode, a long time down the road, I can answer some of them. But yeah, that is my question and answer portion, I guess. Uh, I'll just do a little bit of updates, I guess, on what is going to happen in the next week. So uh, obviously the UHC is going to happen. And uh, yeah, so I mean, I can't say how long that'll go or how short. So there'll be this the UHC. And uh, mixed in, I'll have some Attack of the B-Team episode uh and maybe a survival games i don't know this is the first thing i'm recording so i don't know what else i'm going to be able to get done over the week but yeah this cave definitely has not ended at all so i'm gonna have to explore the rest of this off camera and i hate to make this episode sh so short guys but you know i'm away at camp so or i have a limited amount of time to record this because i'm gonna be gone tomorrow morning so at the time of recording this so I apologize, but I hope you guys enjoy the Q&A for those who like that type of stuff. 
And yeah, my pick broke, so I guess I have to end it off here. But they- oh my goodness, that was really close. Wow. But yeah, thank you guys. I really appreciate all the support on this series. It's really awesome to get over 100 likes again. That has not happened in so long. And ah, there's a bat. I want one on Attack of the V team so bad. But um, yeah, leave a like if you enjoy. As always, it really helps out the video and helps out my motivation and everything. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the updates and things. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!